Hi and welcome back to It's a Miracle Budgeting. My name is Brandy and I am a budgeting channel. If this is your first time here, I am married. However, my husband and I do not budget together. And my DoorDash income that I'm stuffing today, I actually share this with my son. Him and I go together and then sometimes I go by myself. Whenever him and I are together, we do split that income. So today I'm going to be stuffing $388. That is from my April 12th payday. I receive it on the 13th, but it's actually from the 12th. And before we get started, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications. I do have a 500 subscriber contest coming. The prizes have been announced and are linked in the cards. However, I have not yet posted the rules because I'm not quite to 500. So let's get started on cash stuffing my April 12th DoorDash income. So first thing I like to do is actually go over how I budgeted this. So 412 is the payday. Technically, I do receive it on 413. And this is how it broke down. So we received $388, which includes a $75 bonus. Dom didn't go out a lot of the weekend. I went out majority of the time by myself. So he is getting $84. I am getting $164 from my DoorDash income plus $15 in cash tips I received. So that equals $179. Taxes were paying a $77. I do use an app called Yes, the app is called Stride. So it actually, you input your it counter miles for you without you having to input anything, and then you put in how much you earn, and it to tell you how much taxes it take out. So it works out pretty well because it takes your deductions out of that. Now, it's not accounting for the child tax credit or the taxes I'm paying at my day job. So per my tax account, and I probably won't owe any of these taxes at the end of the year, but me and Dominic decided we're probably just going to split them if we don't owe them. Next is car expenses is going to get 31 fuel is going to get 31 and then I'll show you how I broke mine out once we get into the actual cash stuffing. So give me a second to set up this cash and then we will get started. Okay, I did pull out six dollars. Six dollars shouldn't have been in this deposit. This is actually going towards um, my son owed me six dollars for something, so I'm setting this out of the site. We'll handle that in my next video. And then here is my fifteen dollars in tips. Okay, so the first thing that I need to do, I'm gonna take my son's income out. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80. One, two, three, four. 20, 40, 60, 80. One, two, three, four. So Dom is getting 84. I'm gonna set that aside, I'll give that to him. He is 17, almost 18, he'll be 18 in like less than three months or about three months. And so I do let him decide what he does with his money. He recently saved and purchased a brand new gaming computer. It was pretty expensive. So he does pretty good, but I do let him control it. It's his money, not my place. You know, as I say at work a lot, not my monkey, not my zoo. Next, we're going to do taxes. So my taxes are $77. And I do have 200 in here now. So we have 20 30, 40, 50, 60, 75, 77. And you know what? I'm going to move these because I know it is not going to work for me today. I can just feel my klutziness kicking in. I'm going to move it back like that. So I have... One, two, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 75, 76, 77. So we now have 277 in taxes. And then I'm gonna set this binder aside. I will come back to it when I do my debt snowball, but I actually am going to stuff my other stuff first. Car expenses is next. And car expenses is getting 31. One, two, three, 31. So 
now in car expenses, we have 50, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 240, 250, 260, 265, 266. And I don't keep, in case you're new, I don't keep trackers in here because I do use an app on my phone. The app is called, I always forget the name of this. It's called Simple Budget and it costs a dollar on Apple and it tracks all your cash envelopes and sinking funds for you electronically. So that's how I take care of that. So next we're going to do our cash envelopes and fuel is going to be getting 31. One. Two, three, thirty-one. Oops. Smash that one all up. Put them all on upside down. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 85, 86. Which some of this will be gone very shortly because I actually put it on my card and I need to cash out and pay my card off. So I've been doing my cash back on my Apple and it's been working out great. Um, let's see, so I did tax of the day, car expenses, fuel. Next is beauty. And beauty is going to be getting 50. One, two, three, four, five. Beauty is now not going to fit in its envelope, but 152, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 3, 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's 325, and I am on Sunday getting my hair done. That will probably be about 220, 230, and I also will be getting my nails done next week, so that'll be another 50 out. So the majority of this will be gone as of next week. Next is Debt Snowball, so I'm going to switch back to that other folder. And Debt Snowball is getting 80. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let me just make sure that's right. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if we put this all together, we have 152, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 3, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 315. I should, crossing fingers and toes, I should be able to pay off my um, Blaze card this payday, and then I'm going to start working on another one. So this goes away, and I'm going to bring my cash envelopes back, and we're going to go to home. Home is getting 15. So in home, we will now have 10, 20, 25, 30. This is household, not home. Oh, that's supposed to be home. Look at me breaking stuff. I'm gonna leave this 15 out because I'm gonna go put it in the correct envelope in a second. That should have been in home, not household. Not that it probably really matters all that much, but medical is next. Medical is getting 15. So in medical, we now have 20, 35. I do have an FSA and I have pretty amazing car, um, health insurance. So I don't, I probably could get away without doing this, but I always like to have something on standby just in case something comes in. We actually have no copays on any tests other than anything other than our prescriptions and our office copays. So any lab work, any MRIs, we have no copays for. So I don't need as big of a medical as other people may, depending on your insurance and what it covers. So if we go to actual, the folder I was supposed to be in, home, that is right here, and here is that 15. 
and that is going in there. So that is all of my sinking funds. Now I do have money left here. This is actually money that's owed on my card because we ate out while we were door dashing and I put it on my Apple card for my cash back. So now this is going to go back on my card. So I'm going to set that in its own pile. So that is my cash stuffing for my DoorDash income for the, the week of April 12th. My total stuff was $388 and I honestly have been really impressed with DoorDash. I think it's working really well. Again, we're taking this week off, so I won't have a stuffing next week, but we will pick back up on the next week. So if you like cash stuffings, if you like budgeting, if you like any type of financial content, I hope that you will like, share, subscribe. Make sure you ring that bell for notifications. I am pushing closer to my 500 subscribers so I can release my contest rules. The prizes are linked up in the cards, as is my debt journey and my debt journey update. I hope you guys are having a great day, and if you made it this far, I hope that you will put your favorite smiley down below. Thank you guys. Have a great day.